y'all and welcome to the hillbilly chicken ranch i am susan your hostess and today we are going to be doing a fanny farmer cookbook recipe this is hashtag 1898 fanny farmer recipes hosted by blue ann's kitchen and the hillbilly chicken ranch this is an open collaboration that will end on december the 30th we may be doing a giveaway, so make sure you leave comments below this video. We're excited about this book. Uh, Fanny Farmer was the reason that we have the modern day uh, recipes that has measurements, cooking times, and cooking temperatures, and all the host of wonderful products that has been produced ever since her cookbook came out to help the kitchen cook. Now, the recipe that I'm going to be doing is from 1930. This crepe, crepe recipe first appear in, appeared in the Fanny, Fanny Farmer cookbook in 1930, although the thin French pancakes that it produces seems to always have had a place in American cookery. Simple to make and extraordinarily versatile, they are good plain, stuffed, art and rolled, or sweetened. Like a velvet cape wrapped around a simple dress, they transform good leftovers. And you can fill these with either savory fillings or sweet fillings. So I'm going to do crepes or French pancakes today. And we're going to actually stuff ours with some Bonnie Mammon um, cherry preserves. So I'm excited about that. And... Uh, we're going to try that out. I love cherry preserves. This would be really good with a little layer of cream cheese or sour cream added in there just for a little extra texture and flavor. And it is an extremely simple recipe to do. So this will make about 12 7 inch pancakes or 16 5 inch pancakes. And I also want to let you know that crepes can be frozen and thawed and used at a later date. So um, that is a good to know tip for you today. The recipe calls for two, two eggs, one cup of milk, one half teaspoon of salt, one cup of flour, two tablespoons of melted butter, and of course some powdered sugar to top it off with. So the recipe uh, is simply two eggs, one cup of milk or one quarter liter, one half teaspoon of salt, one cup of flour, or 140 grams of flour, two tablespoons of melted butter. Now I have not melted the butter yet, but I need to do that. We're going to start by beating the eggs well. I've already got my eggs out of the shell and I'm going to drop them into my bowl. And I'm going to use a whisk to work these eggs. The idea is to have the white and the yolk mixed together. Now I'm going to add in my one cup of milk. And I've actually taken some raw milk and some powdered milk mix, mixed together um, to really make this a rich um, crepe. So we're going to beat this again until it's blended and smooth. Then we're going to add in a salt, the flour, and the butter. So let me get my butter melted, and we'll be right back. All right, I've melted two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to go ahead and get this incorporated into my eggs.
That way the butter is tempered and I don't have to do any more to it. You pour it in slowly and you whisk. Okay, the recipe calls for a one half teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and get that whisked in and then we'll start working on the flour. Now, the recipe does not say to do this step, but I'm going to put this through a sieve or a sifter and whisk it in slowly. This kind of assures that there won't be any lumps. So this is going to create a thin batter. The recipe says to let the crepe batter sit for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna let this rest for 30 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, I've made my second crepe, y'all. Um, the first one I think I had just a little bit too thin, so I added a little bit more of the batter to the skillet and it did better this time around. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this again. And we're going to roll it like so. And we're going to top it with just a little bit of powdered sugar. And there it is, y'all. I'm going to show you another angle of it. So this is the first one, and it was too stiff too brittle still tastes good it's still delicious but this is the way it should look you see the filling in there delicious y'all you can do this savory or you can do it as a dessert for after supper very healthy for you other than the little bit of powdered sugar in there um, you can stuff this with different fruits or you can do like a savory with leftovers. Many, many different ways you can use this, but isn't that beautiful? Well, friends, this is the 1898 Fanny Farmer recipes. That's hashtag 1898 Fanny Farmer recipes hosted by Lou Ann's Kitchen and the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Tell me, friends, would you like a bite? I'm going to do a sample taste test of this and just to let you know how good it is. So hang on just a moment. So here we go. Mmm.
so good. So easy to make. I found my recipe in the Fannie Farmer cookbook. This is the 12th edition, and it's found on page 497 and 498. It gives you several several uh, variations that you can do, and it is a deli delicious recipe. It's right there, folks. Open collaboration ends December the 30th of this year, and we are hoping to do a um, giveaway at the end of this, so please leave comments in all the videos. The playlists will be listed below. There's two playlists, one for Luann's Kitchen and one for the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Go check them out. And thank you, friends, for watching me make some homemade crepes or French pancakes. Be blessed, everybody. Thank you.